From CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we hit the fields for both the International Hunter Education Association's youth hunt, and then we join Wade on Lindsay Creek for a crossbow hunt for a velvet buck. But first, we'd like to highlight the 10th anniversary of the longest running collegiate bass fishing series, the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship, presented by Cabela's. Now this year's celebratory tournament was held in Florence, Alabama on Lake Pickwick. You know, one really cool thing is the 10 year anniversary Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship. Hank Parker's gonna be here, Forrest Wood's gonna be here. And you know what I really love about it is, is guys that have been to this event for a long time, they realize the importance of it. These guys are the future of fishing. These are the guys that you're gonna see on the Elite Series, the FLW Series, um, three, four, who, maybe next year, some of these guys, they could be out there. They will be the future of fishing. They're going to be the ones that are leading uh, the conservation efforts. And I think it's important for all your sponsors, you know, to be a part of this and, and be a part of the Collegiate Bass Fishing Trail just because of, you know, they are the up and coming generation. They're the future of the industry, the future of bass tournaments, future, you know, the future with Garmin in the freshwater market. As we look at the 10th anniversary of collegiate fishing, you know, you go back to the early years, the first events on Lake Louisville, and now there'll be over 300 college of anglers just at this event alone. We look at where we've come in the last 10 years, and uh, we brought it up. Let's think about the next 15. Let's look at 20 years. Let's look 10 more years from now. Where will it be? And we start calculating the ideas that were flowing and the possibilities that were out there were phenomenal. I mean, to, to take something of this nature that is so dear and important to each and every one of us, that's why we've been in it since the beginning. This is 10 years that Ranger's been involved with this company and we're proud of it, proud of what they've achieved. And it's just a thrill to be here in Florence, Alabama, a beautiful place for this, a great setting. And I've always been an optimist, I guess, and thinking everything's going to be good. And it's grown beyond my expectations, actually. For people my age and people even younger than me, you better look out because these college anglers are going to be good. And it's not an easy thing to do. So you've got to have a die-hard passion. People say, well, what does it take to make it? Number one ingredient, you've got to have passion, man. You've got to love it. We're in Florence, Alabama at McFarland Park, and we're super excited to have the Boat U.S. Collegiate National Championship again. And we saw tons of good-looking college boys here yesterday afternoon from over 90 colleges across the United States. McFarland is a wonderful facility where you can come. We have a lot of great loopers that come through here and uh, bass fishing tournaments, not only for colleges, but for high schools and for the old guys too. Since I got into college, this is the tournament that I've wanted to fish. You know, my home lake, it'd be real sweet to bring it home for the home crowd on my home lake where I cut my teeth and learned how to fish. College fishing 10 years ago wasn't what it is today. Um, this tournament itself has grown over the past 10 years. Um, it's exciting to be here. This is something that you dream about and Man, it's actually coming true, and you know, if we can have a good day today, catch some fish, man, you can't beat it. When Northern Kentucky University's Brandon Houston and Brandon Neppmeyer fired up a school of fish that brought in 23 plus pounds in less than an hour on day one of the championship, well, they knew their spot had great potential. While hammering away each day, they brought in a quiet confidence that could be felt at the weigh-ins. On the final day of competition, Houston and Neffmeyer had prevailed by a mere two ounces with a total of 43.84 pounds. It's an amazing feeling, that's for sure. Um, and being that I'm a senior, this is probably gonna be my last tournament here, so 
to take it home. It doesn't get much better than that, that's for sure. Down here at Pick Week Lake in Alabama, May, you guys are running this tournament. You guys do a great job. The fishing's awesome. The people around here are awesome. I'm actually planning on moving down here. Congratulations to Northern Kentucky University for taking this year's title by the narrowest of margins. For complete coverage and to learn more about this series, log on at collegiatebasschampionship.com. Also, be sure to check out Boat US at boatus.com to learn more about how to protect your investment on and off the water. Stay with us more from Americana Outdoors when we return. Gill that I've used for the last five years has been a far superior product than anything else on the market. The main thing that's really important to me is me being dry. I've been wearing Gill suits now for three years and never once have I gotten wet. When you pack your cooler for a barbecue or even a tailgate party, be sure to pack it with Chill and Brew, powered by Arctic Ice. Chill and Brew in a cooler can keep beer at the perfect drinking temperature longer than ice. Grab some brews and Chill and Brew today. My secret weapon? Evercom. It's the first ever calming scent. It's real smells from bedding areas. To deer, that means safety. Evercom reassures even nervous deer. Which can help you get the shot. I use Evercom all season long. Put it on your boots, your pants, and your decoy. It's stick form, won't wash away or freeze. Evercom. 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 From the family deer farm at Conquest Scents. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. member of the Yamaha off-road family. It thrives in the most remote, rugged terrain. It never steps down from a challenge and travels long distances in search of adventure. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine. It's a whole new animal. The Pan Optics is the future of fishing. We can see our lures coming in. We can choose the proper lures for the depth the fish are in. It makes fishing so much easier when you go to a new body of water because now you can really identify with the bass, figure out where they're feeding, what depth they're at, and really learn how they're reacting to your lures. To be able to see that kind of stuff and understand it and then interpret it, put it into your game, unbelievable. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Conquest Sense. And Nikon Sport Optics. Trust earned Nikon. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Today we're highlighting a one-of-a-kind dream hunt 
the annual Heritage Hunt, which awards students and teachers from the International Hunter Education Association annually with an all-expenses-paid hunt, this year at the Hickson Land and Cattle Ranch near Cotula, Texas. Now let's join Leah Wirth from Focus Group Incorporated, who coordinates the annual hunt. We always want to promote safe and ethical hunting at Hunter's Handbook, and that's really our objective. So by awarding you a hunt and awarding your instructors a hunt, A, we get you out in the field, which is really, really important to us. Um, but we also get the opportunity to award our instructors for all of the thousands, literally thousands of hours that they put in the field. Certainly it's one of those moments where you get to celebrate the fact that there's 58,000 instructors across the United States that certify 670,000 students every year. And uh, this is the, the five lucky folks that get to represent that, that entire body of people. My son was one of three kids chosen uh, randomly uh, throughout the United States when we took the hunter safety course. He, uh, he was reluctant even to fill it out because he didn't think it would be an opportunity, he would have any opportunity to win. But I, of course, talked him into it. And uh, you know, since we've gotten here, it's, it's been phenomenal. It made me feel good that I got to come down here and do something that I only probably get one chance in my life to ever do. I like the IHEA because they've taught me many different new skills that I haven't went over. The, the Hickson family have been great. You know, they've offered this up to the IHEA and to us. Well, we'd like to thank uh, Tim Hickson, Timo Hickson, Karen Hickson for inviting us on their ranch, the Hickson Ranch, uh, here near Cotula, Texas. And, uh, you know, without landowners and without sponsors that believe in hunter education, we just couldn't do it. And the Hicksons have risen to the occasion to, to welcome us at their place. And we're getting absolutely fabulous food too, by the way. <laughs> the excitement about learning and, and passing that information on to others is what I'd like to pass on to my students. And I have several have taken up the challenge and become teachers themselves. I think to be in contact with other teachers and learn more information helps me be a better person and a hunter. The IHEA is the governing body for hunter education, um, developed to give everyone tools for safe and effective um, hunting experiences. There were a lot of hunting accidents in the field and after the IHEA hunting accidents went way down. They uh, sign up through Hunter's Handbook, and that's uh, Hunter's Handbook is distributed to students nationwide. And there's an entry form in the handbook, and they answer a few questions about their purchasing ability with different industries. And of course, they sign up for a, a dream hunt, all expense paid dream hunt, and, and come on these hunts. It's just one of those symbolic things that says, you know, it's almost like winning the lottery, you know, but, but they're uh, lucky indeed, and they get to go hunting. When Americana Outdoors returns, we hit the road to the field to finish out what's already been a great experience for our IHEA students and teachers. We also get to see if Jacob can get his very first javelina. Stay with us, much more to come. Next time you head out into the field, take something with you to help remember your hunt. Check out Garmin's all new line of Verb Action Cameras. They've got a wide variety of attachments and accessories available at Garmin.com. You know, a good knife is something that uh, you can't ever underestimate the importance of. That's why when we found out about Bubba Blade a couple years ago, it was uh, just like this eye-opening experience. We now had a knife that could do everything we needed to do. And it didn't matter what we were doing. It didn't matter whether we were cutting pizza at home, cutting up salami, or cleaning deer. It didn't matter whether we were cleaning or, or filleting the roughest fish we'd ever dealt with. It handled everything we needed it to do. To learn more about the Bubba Blade, visit their website at BubbaBlade.com. After your next successful fishing trip, savor the flavor with a Bradley Smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes for catch with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the fishing trip at bradleysmoker.com. Fast, affordable, and incredibly light. The all new Shadow Ultralight from Ten Point. The lightest and most compact crossbow on the market today. Ten Point, there is no substitute.
Experience high this a brighter sight picture than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. high this lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately. Enjoy the sport. Choose high this Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. Nikon's no-fault policy was created for those who continually push the envelope, travel the farthest, stay the longest, brave the most hostile elements. We do our best to deliver on our promise of a lifetime of performance. And we'll stand with you should accidents happen. Trust earned. Nikon. Comfortable to carry, comfortable to shoot. It's slim, concealable, and powerful protection. The M&P Shield by Smith & Wesson. Confidence? We perfected that years ago. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Do All Outdoors, 10-Point Crossbow Technologies, perfection lives here, Stealth Cam, Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras. The game has changed. Welcome back to the annual Heritage Hunt at the Hickson Land and Cattle Ranch near Cotula, Texas, where a dream hunt is underway. I, I enjoy hunting, but I enjoy being out with my kids and, and them having the opportunity to hunt even more so than I do myself. I saw more deer and more animals down here than I've ever seen. More bucks I've seen than I've ever seen in my life. It's just incredible. The amount of animals, wildlife in general, we, we've seen probably upwards of 50 to 70 javelina. Two bobcats, we've seen two bobcats, you know, a dozen turkeys, rabbits, the deer. I mean, it, it's been extremely successful. And no matter what he killed, you know, that honestly was almost secondary. Hoping we can draw one out in the road. A bunch of different angles you can go at. The blind was a really nice sized one it had. It was a lot of room and we could fit four people in there easily. Everybody had a section and you could just move if you needed to get it readjusted. There was a nice buck that came by and one that was nice that I could shoot, but it never got any closer than about 230 yards. Come on, buddy. No. I really wasn't trusting myself from there. So we were letting him get closer and closer, and he finally got to 220. We're thinking 200 yards, and I can take a shot. So he gets to 220 and just keeps walking, and something spooks him, and he goes off the other way. So sort of unlucky there. We saw a bunch of javelinas though, and no, I've never seen a javelina before until we came down here. It's something didn't even know existed. I mean, I just thought it was a hog when I first got down here and heard about it, didn't know what it was. I was nervous. I was sitting there like 
shaking a little right before and then I got the gun up and I sort of started to calm down and he was telling me to breathe, relax. So I was sitting there and I could see the scope moving on me and I'm trying to hold it still really, putting it up in my shoulder, trying to hold it and I got one. Good shot, bud. Okay. What do you, so what do you think so far with everything? I think I made a pretty good shot. It didn't <laughs> drop, but pretty good, I'm feeling. How's your tracking ability? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find him. That'll be your first javelina. <laughs> That'd be nice. There you go. Good job, bud. Hi, baby. Good job. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, boy, that is yeah. right behind the shoulder, Jake. I'm telling yeah. you. Now, you were on. <laughs> Good job, oh, bud. Give me some on that. Nice. Good job, my friend. Yeah. So what do you think the last two days? It's been good. I've liked it. Had fun? Yeah. Had fun? Yeah, it's been great. Appreciate the Hicksons, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Very I'm much so. Really nice. Very much so. so. All right, buddy. We're proud of you. Special thanks to Safari Club International Sables for helping to make this hunt possible. To learn more about the Heritage Hunt with the IHEA and how to get involved, check out their website for more information. Americana Outdoors proudly uses Thompson Center as their gun of choice. Visit America's master gun maker online for the latest news, updates and specials with a wide selection of rifles to suit your needs. provide the ultimate lightweight fishing platforms that will offer anyone what they want when it comes time to hit the water. Hobie Kayak's commitment to innovation, quality, and owner satisfaction is unparalleled in the industry. So when it's time for you to go kayaking, remember there's only one name to remember, and that's Hobie Kayak. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. Stealth Cam, trail cameras with features you demand. With the durability and performance you can count on. Built to withstand even the harshest conditions. Stealth Cam, join the trail cam revolution. The world's best fishing line is now available in the United States. Sunline FX2, the strongest braid available. <laughs> this braid, I oh, absolutely love it. Reliable, proven. Until there's no more ground to cover and no more stories to tell. When you're a TC Venture Hunter, the hunt never ends. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by 
Yamaha ATV, real world tough. Chillin' Brew, the coolest addition to your cooler. And Gill, respect the elements. It's opening weekend here in Texas, a sacred day for many outdoorsmen and women. It's time to see just how your year-long preparation will pay off. Today, the Americana Outdoor staff is certainly ready. Opening day, what a great day. You know, it's all the best holidays combined into one. You can't wait for it. You talk about it, you plan for it, you look forward to it all year long. You, you know, you get to wherever you're going and you're excited to talk about it, you're excited to make plans. You wait all summer long, you get your food plots ready, you're scouting, you're putting game cameras out. It's just the, man, so much emotion going through you waiting on that opening day of deer season. You cannot wait for that moment. It's, it's something you plan for, it's something you talk about, it's something you work all year long for. And then the rains come. We woke up to torrential downpours, heavy rain that had started the night before and proceeded to last all morning long. But uh, we were at camp, we were still excited, and we still had a chance. We hoped for an opening evening hunt. You know, the forecast was that the rain would stop eventually. Well, the weather report was correct, as the skies cleared and the staff was happy to get things going. They're headed to a nearby pasture on the Lindsay Creek Ranch for the afternoon. You know, the Lindsay Creek uh, pasture that we like to hunt is, it's, it's named after the creek that basically splits the ranch right down the middle, and there's a lot of big live oaks along that creek, and then you've got your typical mix of, of this part of Texas, where this ranch is at, uh, of cover, you know, everything from the Texas Gage, Sage to the Mesquite Flats, to some wee Satch mixed in, to some Wahia Hills. I mean, it's just really a very diverse uh, system that kind of makes up that, that area right there. And, and there's just a lot of different game animals. And there's a mix of stand opportunities that make up Lindsay Creek from uh, the box blinds to ladder stands to tripods. And all of them have a pretty good, you know, scenario to where a guy or gal can go out and have a really good hunt. I told him going in, I said, it's gonna happen. We're gonna put one down this evening. Little did Wade know that when he returned to his blind, it would be just another obstacle to face as last night's weather had made a big mess of his blind. We got a disaster. I'm gonna improvise the best way we can. We shot a turkey like this last year just sitting up in the ground. I'm just gonna build me a quick impromptu ground blind because I ain't got time to go move anywhere else. Let's see what we can do. We plan, we prep, we work all year long for our hunts, but you've got to still be flexible and you gotta understand those things. So when you walk up and your pop-up blind looks like 14 cows and 97 sheep and five gallons of, of ice and rain have fallen on it and it's just in this mashed up pile, you gotta adjust, you gotta adapt and you better do it quick. The sun is starting to, you know, to drop a little bit. The shadows are getting better. This is the time of the day when the mature bucks should be getting up. That's just, just, just how it is. Your early does are gonna come through. Some immature bucks are gonna come through. I mean, that's just how it is where we hunt. And then mature bucks are gonna get up their last 45 minutes of the day when it's just warm, especially in early season. You know, there, there are certain things in your hunting career that you really want. There's certain things that you really want. You know, some guys wanna climb to the highest mountain and shoot a sheep. And, other people are into bears. Well, I'm into whitetail. I just absolutely love whitetail. I love all shapes and love all sizes. And there's one thing that I have absolutely, I, I have researched, I have dreamed about, I have looked for, I have, I have tried to figure out how to go do it, where to go do it, and that's to shoot a whitetail buck in velvet. I saw the velvet. I saw the times. I saw mature deer. And it was, I mean, I, I was game on at that point there. I was going into motion and, and I, I was going to shoot this deer. If he gave me a shot, he hit big, long tines. And he was in velvet and he was mature and he was dominating the body size of everything else out there. And uh, I mean, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, this, this cannot be happening. We got rained out this morning. Our blind was totally destroyed. We're sitting on chairs underneath a mesquite tree. Yeah, we brushed ourselves in a little bit. and. We were pretty well hidden and everything, but I mean, really? After all of this, this is what's supposed to happen. Some 
smoking. Smoking. <laughs> Do you see the freaking pines on that thing? It's still in velvet. I have dreamed about shooting a duck, a buck in velvet. I can tell you a lot. I mean, I actually have Googled and searched trying to find a place to go shoot a buck in velvet, and that sucker looks like he's about that tall. And to shoot a velvet buck, a buck that, that I wanted, not the biggest deer I've, I've ever shot by any means, but a buck that I'm as proud of as my biggest buck because it was something that I had wanted. It's been on my Christmas list since I've been deer hunting. I wanted to shoot one in velvet, and I got one. Look there, it trashed off through here. It's just coming out of him. There he is right there. <laughs> there he is right there. <laughs> oh, baby. Piled up. Look at this. Holy cow. I have wanted something like this, I'm telling you, a long time. Everything absolutely could not have worked any better. We're going to drag him out and get some awesome pictures of him. I wanted something like this a long time. Well, another opening day in the books and a new trophy for Wade. Sometimes things just turn out the way they're supposed to. Well, crossbow hunting popularity has really skyrocketed over the years. With the benefits of both accuracy and ease of use, this option can provide a fun challenge in close quarter hunting situations. If you're considering your first bow or just want to upgrade, you're in luck because there's a wide variety with many options to choose from. If you enjoyed this show, then we encourage you to check out AmericanaOutdoors.com for more great stories from the field. And a special thanks to our sponsors for making this episode possible. If you're in the market for new gear, please support those that support us. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.